Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to have a look at how to make database reports. Uh, I'm using uh, Microsoft Access 2010, but I'm sure some of the concepts that we're going to look at uh, will be uh, relevant to whatever software you're using. So let's get started. This is my database table. There are 28 records of data um, and a variety of different fields. Uh, I'm going to create a report today about everybody who is interested in sport. So I want to look at this favorite TV channel here and try and get, get anything to do with sport. Okay, so there's, for example, Sky Sports, Sports Network, and there may be some others. So first of all, to help me do that, let's make a query, straight into query design, choose my table, and I want to know the first name, last name, location and age of everybody who likes sport. Now the way that I'm going to do this is see which TV channels have sport in the title. And if I run that, I don't get any data. Because in the, the table, there are no TV channels called sports. We have Sky Sports, we have the Sports Network, but we don't just have sports. So that isn't going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say display anything that has sports in the title. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to do that by using the asterisk. And in database design, this is called a wildcard. So any sentence that has sports in it please show me the result. Ooh. And when I tab out of that, Access automatically changes it using the like um, keyword. So if I run that, we're going to see any TV channel that has the word sports in it. Brilliant. All right, so this is the query that we're going to save. I'm going to call this sports. And I'm going to use this query to create a report. So I'm just going to close that for now. Let's go into the Create tab, and I'm going to go straight into the Report Wizard. I find this is quite a quick way to make a, a reasonable report. So let's just start with the Report Wizard. Now, the data set that I'm going to use to make this report is my query spots. And I want to see all of these fields in um, in the report. Um, do you want to add any grouping levels? Ooh, let's. Well, maybe and maybe not. Um, let's just go through this for a minute. We'll come back to this in a minute. Next, well, let's sort by age, ascending order of age, and then let's do a secondary sort, which will be on location. Let's just have those two. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, orient. Uh, okay, I'm not sure about that. What title do you want for your report? Um, people who like sports. Uh, let's finish that. So this is my report. People who like sports. It's all a bit messed up. I've got the age first, and then the location, and then the first name, last name, and the favorite TV channel. Oh, it's because I ordered it by age, isn't it? So that's why. 21, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Ah, OK. Well, let's close this print preview mode, and we're into design view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag age over here and let's start with location and then we'll have the first name and then we'll have the last name and then we'll have the age let's put the age over there and let's just show that in report view wait a minute I just changed everything I put the age over there so why is the age not what let's just go back to design view Dum, 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 dum. Ah, right. These are the labels, and these are where the data is going to be displayed. These are data boxes. 
So I have to line all of these up so that they're in the same place. So the location goes here, the first name goes here. I've, not, I've managed, I've lost my age box. What happened to my age box? Ah, age, where are you? Did I delete it? Oh, there it is. Let's move that into place there. First name is going to line up with the first name label. Last name is going to line up with the last name label. And location is going to line up with the location label. So everything's lined up. Let's have a look at that again. Brilliant. Location Vietnam, first name, last name, age, favorite TV channel. The age is pushed off to the side. Again, guys, we can just go into design view and we can mess around with this until it looks like we want it to look. So I'm going to select the last name label and the last name data box. And I'm just going to narrow them down. They don't need to be too wide. Then I can move the age label and data box to the left. And then let's do the same with the favorite channel. And we'll just try and make it look. Let's put the title into the middle. And we'll go into design view. Uh, sorry. That's starting to look a little bit better. That's still looking a bit weird, so I'll have to mess around with that. I don't want to see this stuff in the footer, so I'm going to go back into design view. I'll keep the date. I'll keep that, but I'm going to delete this page numbering. Don't want to see that. So that's the basics of making a report in Microsoft Access.